Hi, my name's Scott Hebbard from Spark Systems and today I'm going to describe how to customise the layout of your menu system within Enterprise Architect. To do this I simply select the Manage Workspaces button on the Workspace Layouts toolbar. This dialog can customise the layout of Enterprise Architect menus and windows. The Commands tab contains a number of pre-configured command sets tailored to individual job roles. Enterprise Architect allows you to suppress items from both the main menu and context menus using the checkboxes to the right. To demonstrate, I shall compare the role of a systems engineer and a business modeler. A systems engineer is required to work with code and undertake execution analysis. To demonstrate, the systems engineer has the ability to run a simulation and to debug their code. I can select a class and I can use the context menu in order to generate code. I shall now select the business modelling option. You can see that these items are no longer checked. As you can see the analyzer window is no longer available including options to debug the code and to run a simulation. If I select a class and use the context menu I'm no longer able to generate the code from that context menu. Menu customization can help to improve workflow and allow you to focus on the task at hand. In addition to the predefined command sets that we've discussed, you also have the flexibility of creating your own custom command set. Checkboxes are used to enable and disable menu functionality. The menu items have been grouped into functional areas, allowing you to make meaningful changes with a single mouse click. For example, I could create a command set for a systems engineer that also includes version control. I can select Save As and name my command set accordingly. It is also possible to import and export command sets so that they can be shared amongst members of your team. For more information about menu customization or to download a free trial of Enterprise Architect, please visit www.sparksystems.com.